In this movie, we're going to cover modifying existing templates to suit your needs. Continuing along with the report from the prior movies, let's go ahead and go to our report menu, choose the template expert, and let's choose the wave and press OK. Once Crystal is reformatted, now we can spring into action. The good news about these templates is you can modify them as if you created them yourself. For example, you may not be a big fan of this peach orangish yellow color here. In order to change that, you can do it straight in preview, right click on that object, say format field, go to border, and we start remembering our formatting lessons. We go to the background color and let's change it to a dark gray and press OK. The other thing that you're allowed to do is change color and the size of pretty much any object you see here. You can also choose the size of the section or the number of sections that appear. For example, we have a group header B, if you will. We can right click on that and suppress that section. And if we preview, now the title, which is the customer name, is now closer to the year. We can go back to design view and do the same thing for the group header B. And that would be group header 2B, to be exact. From here, we'll suppress and preview. Now we've got a little tighter and a cleaner report. Go ahead and take your mouse and click here. Notice it's just a tiny little square. It gives the illusion that this whole square is one solid object, when in fact it is two. One is a simple object, that's a rectangle with this object added here, which is a simple graphic. At this point you can delete, move, change, or put anywhere you see fit. Of course if you make a mistake, Control Z will undo your last move. From here you can also change the font of a field or all the fields as you see fit. I prefer to work in design view when I'm doing this because I like to be able to select all the objects at once. For example, I can put my mouse in the detail section, right click and choose select all section objects. Now all the objects in my section have been highlighted. I can right click on any of those, format my objects, and choose a different font. If I wanted Calibri, Broadway, Botini, Book Antigua, and if I wanted it to be italic, bold, bold italic, or even the size, I'll choose 8 and press OK. Once you've applied one of the crystal templates to your report, you can change it as you see fit, but it won't change the underlying template stored in the crystal reports directory. What this means is this change only takes into effect on the reports where you've changed it. I encourage you to play around with the formatting, the colors, the shading, and see what works for you best. Often these formats and these templates provided are a great starting point for something that looks pretty good. Always keep in mind the final destination of where your port's going to end up or who the audience is going to be.